Okay, so it's time for another RPG Maker XP video. Um, I'll give you background. Um, I used a completely different system for my summons, but now I've gone back to the Tan Kentai system. And the reason being is not just because I've figured out a way how to do the summons, but because I'm a very picky person and I cannot make my mind up. But I think I've settled on the Tan Kentai system now. Um, because my problem was, uh, there was a certain line that wouldn't let me do the animations. So I went to this other system, but I couldn't find a script which gave me the FF6 battle kind of style. Because the way I want it is, you're using your uh, animated character sprites in battle, but the enemy is a single still sprite. Um, and that's what I've wanted. So, um, I've come back to RP, I've come back to the Tankentai system. And um, the problem that I've faced is that um, when I'm using a skill, um, and I'll show you, when I'm using my Bahamut skill, okay, let me just put this back. Because I did do the video earlier, but I messed it up. So let's click apply there. Whenever I use the skill, um, the user animation doesn't play. The person just swings the sword, then you get the target animation and that's not what I want because I spent ages doing both of these animations but um... and another problem is it plays the damage at the same time as the target animation and what I want it to do is apply the target animation and then do the damage and um... thanks to uh, a demo that a bloke released for RPG Maker VX I was able to use the technique he used on that um... to do it on this so I'm just going to show you how to do that. Now what you need to do is under SBS config. Hang on, uh, let me just pull that down a bit more. On SBS config, you want to go to line. Like line. Uh, where is it? Line 440, where damage and database assigned assignments is. Assigned assignments. Okay, assigned animations. And um, you need to make two new ones. You need to make one that's your um, your user animation and one that's your target animation so for me my animation for the user is 115 and my animation for the target is 116 okay so now we're just gonna make this and if you follow all the green that it says above okay um, the type always has to be anime. ID is the number is the ID number in the database. Object for your user animation you want a zero. Then invert you want false. Weight you want true because that way the sequence won't continue until this action is complete is completed. And then for the last one, weapon two you want false because that's all about if you're using two weapons. Now I've just got to do basically the exact same thing for this for the target animation except ID is 116 and object is 1 false true false okay so now that that's done we are going to um, actually let me just cut those out for you no I don't need to do I I'll just scroll this up, click OK, I'll show you my problem. So there was the problem, as you saw. Um, it does the person doesn't use the user animation, and it only does the target animation. But the damage happens at the same time, and we don't want that. So now that we're back here, we are going to go to. Um, now that we've made these two, we're going to go to line. It's like eight zero, yeah, eight zero three. Basic action oriented. You want to copy skill use and then press 
enter all the way back here paste skill use okay now we're going to change the name of this to our skill which is Bahamut summon okay get rid of that bring that back over there we go now what this is is this is the actual sequence that your character does so for example um, skill use if we go up to skill use what happens is your person will uh, the weapon starts from underneath you then the weapon is raised you swing the weapon and then the animation begins that's the sequence to using the skill so what we're going to do is we're going to change this for Bahamut summon and um, after the weight fixed we're going to add our user animation and it helps when you spell it right okay there we go put a comma and then after we can get rid of obj underscore anim underscore weight because that is um, the assigned animation to a skill and the damage in fact no that is the assigned animation to a skill and um, um, yeah it is the damage in a way and then we're going to put 116 where that is and now after each animation if you put the number of frames um, that each one lasts like this so for example my user animation lasts 180 frames that means that as soon as your user animation starts there is a wait of 180 frames before the next before the sequence carries on so the user animation plays which is 180 frames and once the 180 frames are done the person raises the weapon animation the target animation happens which is about 130 frames then after that we are going to put obj underscore anim okay and what that does if I scroll back up here um, if obj underscore anim is added at the beginning of the name it will be both damage and defined animation okay so we're going to click ok and go to your database go to your skill and change the target animation to nothing and what that means is um, once animation one six, once your target animation is played um, object anim will kick in and because there's no target animation because there's no animation for it to play it will only show damage so um, we're going to go back to the script now and that's fine so now we're going to scroll down to about line 147 uh, there it is 1478 uh, is the skill ID sequence assignments and there you should find all these whens and returns if you scroll down to the bottom of them the last one is when 104 return throw friend when you're at the end of throw friend press enter and type when then the ID of your skill press enter type return then the name of the sequence which for me is Bahamut Summon okay so what that means is when you use the skill that has the ID 126 it will use the Bahamut Summon sequence okay and that's it I'll just show you it now so if you remember um, it was uh, there was no use animation, it was the target animation and damage at the same time. Now I'll show you the results. There's the user animation, which is Bahamut. does his raw then appears swing the sword target animation and then damage okay so um, that's it actually but there's one note and I'm gonna put it in the description at the top the very top of the description you must do this for every single skill that you want to do it for so that's the thing that I've got to do because I'm gonna have wrong thing I'm going to have about 
Uh, probably about 110, 100, 110 to 150 skills in total in my game. And I have to make that I have to do this for every single one, the wins and returns. I have to do a sequence for every single one. And I have to do uh, these for every single one. So I want you to remember that. Okay? I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you soon.